Hey everybody, here's a video to speed up your web surfing, internet browsing, and we're going to use a strategy here called DNS name benching. And the, what we're going to do is uh, I'm going to show you a quick program to run, and you're going to go out and figure out what are the best DNS servers to manually change rather than use the ones that are assigned to you by default by your internet provider, which uh, can be, but they're very often not the fastest uh, uh, servers. So here we go. I'm going to give you kind of the, the steps and I'm going to skip over a lot of the installs and all that let you do that because it can take several minutes. But I'll walk you through the steps. First thing you want to do is go to this web page here. This is a Google project that was worked on. It's called Namebench. So if you go to this website here, uh, code.google.com slash p slash Namebench, that'll get you there. There's a lot of stuff you can read here. There's a wiki page and all that, frequently asked questions. But really, to get to the meat of it, what you want to do is if you got a Mac, download this here. If you got a Windows machine, download this here. And I've already done that and extracted it. And so what you get is this, run it, and this is the name bench program. It puts in your existing servers that are assigned to you right now, the DNS servers. And... Again, if you don't know what DNS means, look, you can read all this, but it's a domain name system, and it's basically like the uh, phone directory that computers use for the web pages. We use names and words that make sense to us, but they use numbers. So it's a translation of those same pages, and they run these queries, and they source the pages and get them to you. But anyway, it's a way to basically get, get to the, uh, the web pages faster and make your Internet experience faster. So I would basically leave all these uh, by default as they are. You go ahead and hit Start Benchmark, but watch down here. You're going to have your status bar, and I'm, it's probably going to take you five, six, seven minutes. It goes through a couple different uh, cycles. It goes through many uh, different servers and queries, so just let it run its thing, and when it's done, it'll save a temp file, and then it's going to kick you to a page that looks like this. Now, there's the other thing, too. Before you do it, shut everything down if you can because it's going to take a while, and I think it uses a lot of processor. Uh, also, only do it one time because I've done it twice. Now, after I do it twice or, or three times even, it, 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 it only works the best the first time. So it's going to think the second and third time, all these queries you're making in the cache pages, it's a long story. But anyway, it doesn't work uh, to optimize after you've done it once. So... Now what you're seeing here is mine. It says, oh, you're already the fastest, and it's pointing you to my own router, which is ridiculous. But anyway, what you want to do is you'll get your report here. It'll tell you the first time I did it was like 30-something percent faster if I change my settings. And it gives you reports here of all the different uh, hierarchy of servers and, you know, cool stuff like that. If you want to look at all the technical details and time durations. What you need here is these three numbers, the recommended configuration. So these three server addresses, you want to write these down or just keep this page open. Now you want to go into your server, or your router, I should say. And if you don't know how to do that, that's another exercise. you got to find out how to do that. But generally speaking, what you do is you go to this address in your bar. Don't type www, but you put in 192.168.1.1. Uh, that's a common uh, address for most of your local routers. It'll take you to an admin, sign-in page, a user page. If you don't know what that is, you got to go figure that out. But once you log into your router, you go to this page to the basic setup, and you go down here to your uh, static DNS uh, pages. Now, this is where you're going to put in those numbers. Now, for me, for instance, I've already done mine, and they're different than uh, what I just showed you on the page, so I'm going to go ahead and pop in what... what showed up for me the first time, which was 68-87-68-162, and then the secondary was 209-2-3-4-0-3. Okay, now I didn't, ha uh, I had a third, but I'm not going to put it in there. It'll just default to whatever your cable provider is, your internet provider is. But at least put in the first and second one, I would say. So I'm going to go ahead and save settings. And it should accept. Continue. Okay. So now what you can do is you can test that to uh, go see what your, let's see, your network connection settings are. So if you go to your network connection settings here and you go to your LAN or your wireless, whatever you're connected to, uh, go on to it, right-click and click Status. 
and then click details. Now, see, this is the old setting that it was assigned to with the automatic assignment of the DNS server. So I'm going to close that. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and disable it. And it's going to show disabled. I'm going to right click it and then enable it again. So it's basically going to reset that connection. Okay, now that it's reset, I go to status, details, and you'll see now it's picked up those DNS server numbers that I just put in from the router. So once you reset it, whether it's wireless or LAN, it goes in there, refreshes and pulls whatever those settings were you just changed. And if you don't like it or if it doesn't work, just go back to your original uh, kit, your setup here, and just put all zeros back in this. And that will then go back to the default setting, which it'll go out to the ISP and take whatever they assign to it and pop it in there and reset your setting again on your uh, LAN or your wireless. So anyway, after that's all done, what you should experience is faster web page browsing. You may or may not get uh, faster downloads. Probably not because that's controlled by your internet service provider and bandwidth. But you should see some improvements in your uh, uh, page searching and loading and browsing and all that. So anyway, I hope that helped. And leave some comments for each other and some likes and subscribe to get some more stuff going. I've got some security things coming up that will be helpful as well. And thanks for watching. Bye.